Google Pixel 9 Pro with Magic Editor. Now you can reimagine any photo. Go ahead, the sky's the limit. Okay, I guess not even the sky is the limit. Check out the link in the video description to buy your Google Pixel 9 Pro with Gemini on Amazon today. Welcome back to the Spoilerverse, where today we're diving into the intriguing dynamics of 90 Day Fiancé. The other way and the controversy surrounding star Corona Blakey's concept of soft partnering. Recent episodes have unveiled that Corona has been employing this method as a strategy to navigate her relationship with Inji. But the question remains, is this approach truly sustainable? Soft partnering, in Corona's words, is a way for her to soften her responses and mask the more challenging aspects of herself. Instead of confronting Inji about his failure to keep his promise to clean their closet, she opts for a gentler route, hoping to maintain peace. But as we've seen, ignoring pressing issues can only be a temporary solution. In her latest revelations, Corona hints at moving away from soft partnering, signaling that her true emotions are about to surface. This transition raises concerns, especially since Inji may now be expecting a version of Corona that no longer aligns with reality. As she shifts away from this soft persona, Inji might struggle to recognize his partner and face a harsh truth, that she has been concealing her authentic self. While the initial intention behind soft partnering may come from a place of wanting to foster connection, it risks coming off as disingenuous. Reality TV often depicts individuals trying to put their best foot forward, but Corona's repeated references to her soft partnering methods come across as almost manipulative. It's not just about making a good impression. It raises the stakes of their relationship far too high, as Inji may now have to relearn who Corona truly is. Moreover, soft partnering can inadvertently lead to resentment. As Corona curtails her natural reactions in favor of a fabricated softer demeanor, she neglects to express necessary boundaries. This could brew discontent not only in Inji, but within herself, creating a disconnect that threatens the foundation of their budding relationship. Her previous attempts to suppress natural reactions may have temporarily kept the peace, but it ultimately prevents genuine communication, leading to misunderstandings and unmet expectations. And perhaps the biggest danger lies in Corona losing sight of herself. Rather than authentically embracing her true self, she might find herself conforming to a mold she's created. If both partners are not on the same page about what's real, it jeopardizes their long-term compatibility. As the layers of her facade begin to lift, Inji might find himself bewildered by the shift, leading to further strain between them. Despite the struggles, it's important to recognize that Corona's intentions are likely rooted in care and connection. The evidence of their bond is clear. She's made significant life changes to be with Inji, showcasing her commitment. However, without a willingness to approach healing and relationship building sincerely, the very tools she is trying to employ could backfire, resulting only in hardship. So what does this mean for Corona and Inji moving forward? Will they be able to find a path that embraces authenticity and vulnerability, or will the consequences of soft partnering unravel the connection they have worked to build? As we continue to follow their journey, one thing remains clear. Airing these lessons on national television will provide no shortage of drama and insight. Be sure to tune in as we keep you updated on all the latest twists from 90 Day Fiancé, The Other Way, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Spoilerverse for more compelling discussions.